I uh, yesterday I put up some coat hooks for a friend of mine, fixed them to a plasterboard wall. I'm rained off today, so I thought I'd show you how the anchors that I use, the hollow wall anchors, how they look on the inside once you put them on. There's different types of fixings that you can put into plasterboards, these ones, toggle clamps. But if you take the bolt out, you lose the toggle inside. Don't use them very often. They're quite strong, but like I say, you lose the toggle if you take the bolt out. Then you've got these that screw into the plasterboard. But they can work loose in the plasterboard and fall out. Sometimes these screws are quite hard to get in. So you end up stripping the thread in the plasterboard. Same again, don't use them very often. These are hard to beat, so they come in various sizes. One, these are the most common ones that I use. Uh, 52, M5 I think. And what happens is this part expands and clamps onto the back of the plasterboard. This is quite an important part. This one's half inch. That's like a shank, like you would have on your screw. That's the thickness of your board, whatever you're going to be using. See, that one's quite narrow, so you could use it on 9mm board. That's quite thick. Maybe plaster and that, or some kind of insulated board or something. Something that's a bit thicker. But these are the ones that I used. You can get can't find it. I've got an old one, but I killed a couple of the ones that are like like a gun, like a clamp. They're rubbish to be honest. After the second one, I bought this. This is Fisher. They're online for about £44. I think that's what I paid, about £44. You basically unscrew You basically unscrew the screw a little bit and then that slots in there and as you as you draw it through it expands that it pulls that tighter and that expands through I'll show you how it went putting the shelves up my friend was filming so I didn't do much talking but I've set up a piece of plasterboard in the vice here and I'll show you what's what's going on on the inside and then I'll show you the film of what we made putting the shelves up I've got here an old 10 mil auger bit it's nice if you get a nice clean hole because these this flange isn't very big it does leave quite a big flange so if you're putting anything small on the wall you gotta make sure that gets covered but you want a nice neat hole not too many ragged edges. So this is an old piece of 12mm plasterboard, half inch plasterboard. I drill me all. And that slots in there. There's a little washer on it, it doesn't really matter which side you get that. And as I squeeze this, that'll expand. You have to wind this little screw in because it, it, it maxes out at about that. Wind the screw in a bit. So it's very hard to beat the strength of these. Take the screw out. And it's still there. Still mounted firmly in there. So here's how it went at the house. 
Right, so what do I do? Just press the red square? It's oh. already filming. Oh, okay. I'll cut it up later. Right. Have you done your own profile shots? Oh, you know, I need to be in the picture. I've been in the picture too much. I try and cut myself out. No, you need to close up on your um, forearm muscles working. That'll get you some extra hits. You should be doing it topless, really, Giddy. <laughs> With a kitten. Nobody wants to see that. In fact, where's Toby? Gotcha. Gotcha. You put them in my walls. Jeez, there is. Oh. Does that look at me? Look at the wall. I'm no, at you. Close. Am I supposed yeah. to be able to put, see put the mark? Yeah, yeah. But I've got yeah, to be able to get in drill, so we'll do this one. Too much to zoom in? No. No. No, you just spoil the picture. Okay. Can you see the pencil bar? Well, sure. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> uh, look, come out. I don't know if you can see that to be honest. Ooh, can see that. Are you sure they should be going in my walls? I was thinking of a small hook. Delicate dish bar. <laughs> See your hands like that there. Ooh, what's that? So come on, you have to name them. What is it? I'm gonna talk later. Oh, I see. Because my arms are gonna fall off too. Because it sometimes takes me. Yeah, you don't want to. into the close-up. So you can go in on the side of this and show this. Right there. This bit, yeah. That's it. Shall I do the other one just in case I missed bits? You get in quite close here. Yeah. On this side. If she sees me standing on here, I'll get into trouble. Not too close though, because it gets out of focus. Has it got the green square? The red square? Yeah, that's what I mean. On the end of the drill. Insulation. Screw the last one in. That'll do. Yeah. I'm sure. Don't want to. Where did I put the screw? Quite oh, it? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Are they completely secure now? Yeah, just it's just like a finishing thing otherwise yeah. no one knows what you're doing and I'll edit all this out yeah yeah so that you just actually put it on like a god I'm so smooth yeah. <laughs> I'm 
made a video <laughs> the other day and there were 60 summit clips that I actually did. I can't find it at all now. Uh. Uh. Oh, that's square, one. yeah. Is it a square circle? Yeah. That's about right. Yeah.